You have set the force trail. What to make them think that they're going towards Isengard? Yes. Fuck. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Not yet, they're not. Crabbing from Dunland. <laughs> Hide. And leave behind your like breakfast pan. Oh, fuck. Oops, I think I missed one. Quill in the storm, or we just picked that up. Uh, probably one we just picked Qu up. Quill in the storm is uh, back up. Yeah, it's oh, back yeah. up. We have to go back up Cadras again. So yeah, like kind of half of what Ish had done, like kind of, is revolving around is like, so I said, did the Fellowship go over Cahadras? No. Did the Fellowship go south to, to the Gap of Rohan? No. Like oh, shit. Shot. That means that they've gone through the other option. Oh well, there's nothing to be done about that right now. Um, yeah, like, let, let's set a false trail and make the enemy think they've gone down to, like, to the Gap of Rohan near Isengard. Mm. Rather than that, like, suddenly panic, they've gone into Moria. This place is not good these days. Alright, I think... Is Rakuga the last guy we need for the, uh, Cancer? No, we need the Lord of, um, Port Callus. Yeah. What I never got is why Gandalf, like, yeah, when Gimli's suggesting, like, Moria and that, and Gandalf, like, comes out with the rather ominous stuff, like, no, Gimli. I would not go to take that route unless it was the last option. It's like, literally, why didn't they just come out going with them? Um, actually, Gimli, mate, I've heard some bad things have actually gone down there. <laughs> yeah. um, My cousin Barley! Your cousin's dead, uh, and yeah, it went horribly wrong. Yeah, you know, there's a Balrog in there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they had no other choice in the end. But you didn't want to tell them. But, but you know, like, why, why doesn't he like literally just come if, out and say if, this? If it was uh, Arnie as Gandalf, he would have just gone, yep, let's go. <laughs> If it, ble if it bleeds, pulls out an AK-47. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Not sure the Balrog does bleed though. That's the problem. Arnie would give it a go, and if not, he'd, he'd try again. Yeah, AK-47 just spraying it on the bridge of Casadoom. Everybody, set the false campsite quickly. I like how Benji popped burn hot. So he's actually going to do some damage, and then he runs off somewhere. I didn't realise something came out, but I'm just doing the deed. <laughs> there we go. Um. So yeah, talk to him there. The rest goes to Etcher Dunnan. He, he's an odd one. Has any like you know like TV series or ever ever portrayed a pregnant elf? Nope. It's just, just um, this, this is just an odd concept. Because presumably elves do get pregnant and have to, in order to have uh, little elves, a bit very rarely. Maybe that's the reasoning, just because it's very rarely you never see it. <laughs> no, it's just I think it just clashes with the classic kind of um, like elves, like your know, beautiful grace. They just type spring thing. out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that's dwarves. That's dwarves. I know. And there are no dwarf women. Just dwarf men. <laughs> My heart cannot sing today. And Kudanir is a dangerous place. Yes, yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> but Saruman is an asshole. <laughs> On Does level this axe look any good? No. On level before all the changes with Helm's Deep, it was actually. Um, would be a bit of a uh, challenge. Hmm. That's because they have those like bullshit orcs. <laughs> With those disgusting buffs. Yeah. That you had to like be respectful of, otherwise they would just creep your face off. You gotta be respectful in Gondor. I believe everything there has like stuns and like knockbacks and disarms. You go in there, you take on a couple of mobs and like you know, and like you just get stun locked for half the fight. It's not as bad as Stunland. No, it's worse than Sunderland because you get because you get disarmed, knocked back, and then knocked down. <laughs> what Sunderland? Yeah, it's worse than Sunderland. I get knocked back and then knocked down again. <laughs> yeah, and then they nicked my sword. Those fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not a bad cosmetic, actually. The sword of Erigen. What can I do? Terrible, like with the notches in the blade halfway down the thing, but yeah, the rest of it's very like practical. Weird fantasy one. 
It's fine no, beyond light. Wooden shield's not bad actually, I can't like that. Ah, that's bollocks. I'll get the shield. Um, right, the Lord if only of there was actually, like, warden to bother cat. If only there was a warden to bother casting <clears throat> for like the Fellowship or something, we'd get like Pedro Pascal in. You know, go full Red Viper on it. Yeah, oh, fucking Pedro Pascal. Jesus Christ, can we get him in there somewhere? I don't know where you'd put him, though. Like, no one's like, a, a particular spear user. He doesn't need a spear, he just needs, you know, vengeance. Vengeance, right. Yeah. An angry man. Pedro Pascal would work as Boromir. <laughs> really, as Boromir? Yeah. <laughs> it, it just, like, wants vengeance against fucking Sauron. Oh shit. Made a friend. He, he doesn't have times for the likes of you, but he will still engage you in combat. Mm. And chase you. Alright, so this should be the last boss mob that we need. Should be for here, yeah. Um, then we've got one last run up via the north. Yes. Summon and defeat. Gamzerm, Lord of Porth Catholics. <laughs> but Benji's lagging behind. That's fair, yeah. I get distracted by wood. Uh huh. Do you have that problem often? He has that problem many times. Yeah. <coughs> he needs to tend to his wood. Elvish wood is very distracting to Benji. Yeah. It, it's um older, more matured. Yeah. His um his elf is currently having a you know what is what is the elvish uh, of the ponfar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my where's god! The, where's the bit to go? Uh, I, th I think that's gone over Benji's head. I know. I'm trying to find the cliff side to run up. Uh, to the west. Sorry, Quento has quite a large forehead. <laughs> you can imagine him as like the the logical Elrond. <laughs> Nah, he's too young to be Elrond. Uh, give, give, him, give him 20 years, yeah. I mean, as much as, much as I, I kind of agree with him as a young Spock, I preferred him as Silo in he Heroes. That's like I never really watched villain. Heroes and ne never really got into it. Season 1 was good. Kind of got a bit silly as he got on after that. Mm. Still worth a watch. Um. Benji, better get here quick. There was an angry man. There you go. On your marks. Get set. Charge! Donk. <laughs> oh, you're never gonna get bored of that, are you? Oh, just run them and kick down. it. Alright, Uruk Captains of Regin is done. Elves of Rivendell Rep 700 and Defender of Holland title. Protect the land of Eregion. Okay, so next. You, oh, Benji got a key. He got yep. a key. I got a key. But he doesn't have a chest. Lol. Do you want a chest? Uh, can't do that. So, no, no, the key, the key is for his chastity belt. <coughs> that doesn't have a key, does it? <laughs> well, we run it. Come here, uh, you bastard. He's talking to you, not me. I can't do it now because oh, you sorry. dragged me in combat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now what? <laughs> not my fault that you didn't notice that this mob was here as well. Oh, Alright, yeah, I can't trade with you because I'm on cooldown. There you go. If you get something really fucking shiny, I'm going to be so sorry. Like a tom. I got a tome earlier actually, tome of my tome of my eight. Boostman speed, five compendiums in the middle of the Five compendium, please. You don't even wow. use Wow You don't even use compend like one compendium in the it's middle of just... one, let alone five. <laughs> <laughs> um it seems, to, it seems to make like the shitty plus fifty fifty bit what uh, you know what you, I will no, it's not even plus fifty, is it? It's like plus ten or whatever. Hang on, <clears> come back, come back. Map to um burnt tool. Benji can I'm coming. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Let's go this first. Wolf just jumps up on back of Benji's horse and like, you know, eats it. 
I will point out as well, Benji, if you haven't done it already, our level 50 uh, leveling boxes can be open now. Yes. Uh, the gift for the Gold Traveller. There, it's in my bank, so I'll go do it there. Woo! Gift of Moria! Item wear reductions, yay! The gift from Moria one's alright though, and it's the final one that you get. Yeah. Which is level 51, just to kick yeah. us off. So we don't have to wait yeah. too long for that one. Um, got, it's got an enhanced XP one in there at the very least. Okay, so eastwards, we need to burn tents back in the camp and search for clues to Kartras's anger, which is up in the snowy bit on the hill again. I feel that like that's a bit back to front. Normally you burn the tents before you kill the, like, the, the chief of the, uh, the camp, yeah? Yeah, but... Reasons. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a bit, a bit running back and forth to the same spots. Still pretty focused in how it is. The hunter help actually helps in that with the uh, port in uh, burnt tall like partway yeah. there. <clears throat> Although, the, like as we showed showcased before, they've kind of like like flattened out a bit of that hill bit, haven't you? So you can sneak up down by the side of Eckard Dunn. Yeah, which helps so you don't have to Ishad, ride Ishad, far to the Ishad, west Ishad, to get Eckard, Eckard, whatever. Yeah. Tarstags. Oh Jesus Christ! I've just fought Sean Connery. <laughs> You'd have to be a dwarf. <laughs> Have I gone? No. <clears throat> I've probably gone too far because there's some, some wood up there. Brian Cox has I... fared him. Oh, Brian no. Cox. <laughs> just, just, what is, what is time? I don't understand it. Wrong time? one. Oh, the wrong one. <laughs> uh... You're thinking of the scientist. Yeah, that I right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who, the, who the equally annoys me, but no, we're more thinking like Agamemnon non destroyed the scenery, um, Brian okay. Cox. Yeah, the, the villain in X Men 2. That guy. Okay. Striker. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. You moron. There are many men's. Yes, like I say, you moron. There are many more men's than one was expecting. Single button. I'll kill this guy. He's the one guy that hasn't been aggroed, but fuck it, I'll pull him anyway. Conga line. I've got a conga line. Do 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 It's a conga line. Conga line. Right, I'm murdering everything that's coming up this bloody hill. Okay, you deal with the conga line. I'm burning tents. The, the conga line's dead. One snuck around the corner, but the rest of them are dead. So it's because when you burn the tents, you um, get a couple of ag um, yeah. mobs. Yeah, <laughs> get like two or three guys that spawn. I think you guys burnt both these tents. Pulled everything else that was up here as well, just because they would have been aggroed. I haven't done these tents yet. No, no, no. I, I, I just burned two tents and had the mobs following me. Burning a tent. You have been warned. Great. I'm leaving. Bye. F you. It's alright, it's chasing you. What's still in combat with? Pom ran down after how <coughs> He's come back now. And another. <laughs> I, I actually right. struggle to think what else Brian Cox has been in beyond X Men and like Troy, where like he ate the scenery. But everyone in Troy was eating the scenery. <laughs> like Eric Banner for like is the quiet one in that film, and that's saying something since it's Eric Banner. But he's pretty quiet until he was the villain in Star Trek, where he's a bit shouty. <laughs> a bit shouty. Oh shit. I do like how you you're you're all on about that you know Benji's there <coughs> straight on about uh yeah you know, Ryan Cox the uh, thing the <laughs> actor uh, the uh, physicist not the actor yeah. the, the physicist and former pop star that said he was the first he, um he's played Hannibal Lecter apparently uh, Brian Cox has he apparently 
that he was the first actor to pay, portray Hannibal Lecter on film in the 86 movie Manhunter. Oh. Did you just learn that on IMDb? No, I just learned that on Wikipedia. Okay. Basically the same thing. But yeah, he's not been in, like... He's been in, like, things, but... Yeah, he was in Prince of Jutland, wasn't he? Yeah. Which keeps getting odd re-releases, even in the modern day, and I don't know why. I'm trying to think, this should be the last quests in all of the... Etch isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this, this should be. I'm just trying to ride past all these bloody cave beasts I've met. Ah, I've been dismounted. Yeah, that's it. Damn it. And you know, surprise, surprise, Cahadras' anger is all caused by the hobbits again. Or leaving a cooking pot. Yeah, something like that. Now nah, they, they did a campfire. Yeah. And fire offends the Grimms. <coughs> Can I get on my horse yet, please? Oh, so it's still chasing me in there. <coughs> Go Ooh, away! A white, a white tree has just sprung out of me and told me I have levelled up. Right. Good it. Yeah. When you hit level 50, you are going to be so stuff. bloody over leveled in Moria. <laughs> You're going to come out of Moria like 68 or something stupid. I won't come out of it 68. That's, no, that's 65 is probably quite possible. Yeah, but I come out of Moria 65 normally anyway. Well, mm. after doing Lothlorien. Because I skip Mirkwood and all the other like places that's there these days. And go straight to, um, what do you call it? We're going too high, aren't we? Yeah, because it's down here. Oh. We splish. Completed. The ring goes south. Five TPs. Nice. Um, okay. And back to Etcher Dunn. Etcher Dunn. Now the question is, what does Benji need to do for his hunter tracking thing? Oh, uh, ruin. So when I go to Mirabel, I'll get it. Right. You can cover that next time then. Okay. Uh, Palinair. We'll get to vector quests to uh, Mirabel. Yep. So as usual, we end up with three quests What's vector quests to the new town. Um, I don't like club soup. If it looks like a nice club, it's like a police baton. That one. I'm still going for the pie because I'm a hobbit. Gamzerms uh, well. That's an interesting looking halberd. A bit plain though. Nobody uses halberds anyway. But yeah, I think that's it for Etcher Dunnan then, isn't it? Yep. Okay then, so I think we'll finish up here then, and then next episode we will finish off with Etcher Mirabel and then probably do the Freemans. So see you guys then. <laughs>